Greetings Green Thumb Gardening family. I'm Lionel Lee Spaghetti from right here at the Green Thumb Gardening channel. We're here in our high tunnel greenhouse this morning. And in this morning's short, short, short video, I'm gonna be bringing you guys an update on the knockout roses that we've been growing from cuttings for about the past roughly 90 days or so here in our high tunnel greenhouse. And most of you guys and that currently follow our channel are aware of the fact that we recently relocated our home, our nursery, and all of our plants, our greenhouse, and everything that we own to a new location. During that process, we had a delay in the amount of time that it took for us to get our greenhouse reassembled and up and running here at our new location. We had an Arctic cold front that passed through our area during the time prior to us getting our greenhouse reassembled. And a lot of our plants were outside and exposed to the cold and it took a hard, hard, hard hit. A lot of our plants we thought that we had actually lost during that Arctic cold front. But we were pleasantly surprised to see that once we brought some of those plants inside of our greenhouse to a warmer environment, in a, an environment where we um, keep the area lit 24 hours a day with grow lamps, a lot of those plants began to re-emerge and, and they weren't actually dead and we're glad that we didn't throw a lot of these plants away. A lot of those plants that are, uh, I previously mentioned include our knockout roses. Again, we had, we took um, several knockout rose cuttings roughly 90 days ago. We probably took a total of 30 or 40 about 90 days ago. We sold some of those knockout rose, roses since then and uh, we've given a few away. And we had a few left. We had a, about, a total of about 10 left prior to us relocating to our new um, area here. So again, we have about 10 knockout roses I'm about to show you guys right now. We recently up-potted about eight of them to one gallon containers. We still have two and four inch containers that we need to up-pot within the near uh, future here. But take a look at this, guys. Bam! Can you guys see how beautiful and healthy our knockout roses are looking here in our high tunnel greenhouse. These things, I promise you guys, and they're currently watching this video, these things were sticks. Just these little sticks about two weeks ago. They were brown, they were outside under our shed over there. They looked completely dead, and I almost, I almost emptied every one of our containers out onto the compost bin. And I didn't do that. Something told me to bring these roses inside of our high tunnel greenhouse. Give them a week or so to see if they would come back to life, and they did. So I'm glad that we only lost during that Arctic cold front when our knockout roses were actually exposed to that cold weather. We only lost a total of three of our knockout roses, and we have a total of 10 left here. And at this point, they are looking fantastic. And for those of you guys and guys of you who are currently watching this video who don't know the um, process that we use to root these knockout rollers cuttings with a video on our channel that shows you guys exactly what method we use to propagate these rose cuttings we go back to our video playlist watch that video and see that we only use sand to propagate our roses in we use plain white sand to propagate our rose cuttings in and it works well. Roses root very well in sterile, plain sand. In, in, in the um, position where you can attempt, or you want to attempt to root rose cuttings, don't use potting soil, peat moss, all of that other crap. You're going to have very little success using those methods. You can root rose cuttings in water. Some of them root very fast and well in water. The majority of them won't and they'll actually rot in water. Sand is your best option and your most um, successful option when it comes to rooting rose cuttings of any variety. And again, it's been about 90 days since we've begun this grow experiment on rooting knockout rose cuttings. And we're super excited to have a total of 10 roses left that didn't get killed by that Arctic cold front. We only lost a total of three knockout rose cuttings during that Arctic cold front that passed through our area back in December. So we're left with a total of about 10 and we're super, super excited to have the opportunity to grow these 10 rose cuttings to maturity and watch them blossom here at the Green Thumb Gardening Channel. Thanks for watching. 
And if you need to do curtains by just watching this video, now we're subscribed to the Green Thumb Gardening Channel. Please, indeed, take the moment to press the subscribe button beneath this video, the like button, the notification button, and be sure, Green Thumb Gardening Channel, be sure, be sure, be sure to share this video with your friends and family as well. Yeah. Growing knockout roses from cuttings. Day 90. You know, a high tonal greenhouse. Thanks for watching.